Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to install PyCharm and Python. Now if you already have Python installed and only want to install PyCharm, then don't worry, you can also follow the steps in this video. We are going to begin by installing PyCharm and in the process of installation it will actually detect automatically if you have Python installed. And if it detects that you do not have Python installed, it will install it for you automatically. And before we jump in, I do want to mention that this guide is only for Windows. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open a new browser window and you're going to Google PyCharm download. Then you're going to click on the first entry that appears and this will take you to the download page of PyCharm. Now if you intend to use Python commercially, you might want to be interested in downloading the professional version, but over here we're going to stick to the community version. So now you're going to click on download and you'll see that a small pop-up appears on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Now you'll just have to wait a moment until the download is complete. I've gone ahead and fast forwarded the footage so that we don't have to wait that long. Alright, so once the download has completed, you want to go ahead and click on it. And at the same time, we don't need the browser anymore, so we can go ahead and close that down. Next, you'll see a window with the installation setup appear. So you want to go ahead and press next over here. And the subsequent window that appears will ask you where you want to install PyCharm. Now I'm just going to leave it at the default location and press next over here again. Then in the next window, you'll have a couple of installation options that appear. Now I am going to choose two of these options. The first one I want to choose is the update of the path variable. This will allow me to run Python code from the Windows terminal. And the second option that I am going to tick is the shortcut on my Windows desktop. After you selected the desired options, you want to click on next. Then it will ask you to choose a start menu folder and we're just going to go with the default here and you can go ahead and press install. Now we will go through the installation process and this should take about a minute or two. Alright, so in this very last dialog box that appears, you're going to have to choose if you want to reset now or reset later. I'm going to do it later and press finish. And at the very end of this, you'll see that I have a small icon that has been created in the top left hand corner of my desktop. And when you open PyCharm for the very first time by clicking on the icon, it's going to run you through a couple of dialog boxes. First, it's going to go ahead and ask you if you have read the privacy policy and you're going to, of course, read it through thoroughly, just like I am doing over here and press confirm. Then they're going to ask you if they can collect data from you. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to press don't send. And it's going to go ahead and launch the community edition of PyCharm. Although we have already successfully installed PyCharm, we still need to take care of Python, the programming language. So let's go ahead and click on new project and one of two things is going to happen. If you do not have Python installed, you'll see this small note pop up at the bottom of the dialog box. Now if you do have Python installed, that note won't pop up and you're ready to go and you don't need to continue watching. But since we don't have Python installed and want to install it, we need to pay close attention over here. You can see that the second bullet point says click create to download and install Python. So that is super helpful and we want to go ahead and do just that. So let's go ahead and click on create. And now you'll see an installation box pop up telling us that Python is installing. And so you just want to wait for a brief moment until it finishes installing and then it will continue to create the virtual environment and after that it should be done. Alright, so now we have successfully installed PyCharm and Python and you can see that the first project comes with a bit of example code and just to show you guys that it really works, we can go ahead and run this. We can do this by simply pressing the green arrow in the top right hand corner of the screen. As soon as we do this, a small box pops up at the bottom and executes the code, which in this case is simply a print of the text Hi PyCharm. And just to prove to you guys that we definitely have Python installed on our machine, we can simply go to the start menu and you'll see that among the recently added programs, you'll have the Python module, idle and the Python manual. All right, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and see you in the next video.